Welcome to the classroom. Today we're talking about the Schmidt hammer. It's a rebound hammer. There is a known weight inside the hammer and it's spring mounted. So it slides up, clips onto the spring, and when you release it, it comes down and impacts up against the rock or concrete. It was originally designed in the 1950s for testing concrete. And many people have taken the rebound number that you get from it, that's where this weight bounces back up and it slides the scale on the device right here and converted that to the compressive strength of the rock or the concrete. You can do that in the field on blocks of rock or in the lab with core samples, you can use this anvil and that's what we're going to use today. What you do is basically you need to release the spring all right and you just push it down until you hear a nice rebound and then you get your rebound number off of the device here so i've got uh, 42. this is a conversion chart for rock all right and you need to know the unit weight of your rock so you can estimate it and this is the rebound number on the bottom and you can see different orientations so if we're holding the schmidt hammer uh, vertically downwards then we can use this uh, chart so we have about 42 we go up this is the line say 26 we can estimate then the unconfined compressive strength of the rock just above 100 mpa it's a granite it's probably in that range of 100 120 mpa compressive strength this is a pretty soft rock and smooth marbles kind of in between abdolomite. When you are in the field, you want to make sure you pick a good spot. And they actually give you a little grinding disc so you can smooth out a place uh, to do your test on. Now, if I use this cube because I'm in the lab, it's got a nice smooth surface. I'll get a reading. So that was uh, 46, but you can see and I've done a number of, of impacts, you can see the impact here on the rocks. So it does make a little bit of damage on softer rocks, so you need to be careful. But it is a relatively non-destructive test that we can estimate the compressive strength, get a quick estimate, and that way we can take that into our design. We could do this before we actually get rock core samples. We might take this anvil, you can't carry this in your back pocket all right and it's got a nice place to line up your core sample all right 42 again just what i got before but what we want to do is take multiple readings i would take 10 readings maybe turn the sample around and we get an estimate of the rebound number we can take the average value we would eliminate, say, anomalously low or high values and look at the most frequent value that we get for the rebound and use that in our conversion to the unconfined compressive strength estimate. And I want to emphasize estimate because this is just a field test that we can do on blocks of rock or on core samples, but we want to do more advanced tests later on in the design process so that we get more accurate determinations of the compressive strength to go further into our design modeling and so on. So that's the engineering link. And this is a preliminary test we can do uh, to get an estimate of the strength using uh, initial design scoping of a project. And later on, we'll do more advanced tests, which we'll show videos for you in the future. Thanks for watching.